Today, we're exploring a rather interesting story. What was once a thriving civilization, soon engulfed by the jungle, that's the story of Takao. The thing that immediately stood out to me about this place is the fact that it has over 3,000 structures as a whole complex. And nobody's really talking about it. It kind of gets overshadowed by pyramids like Giza and Chichen Itza. And while Giza lies in the Egyptian desert, this place is in the jungle where there's an underlying unforgiving tone. For the magnitude of today's video, I brought along a talented friend and filmmaker, Alex Brogy, aka The Weasel. For today's adventure, we started on a small island off the coast of Belize. We had to take an hour-long boat ride into Belize City where we caught our taxi up to the border town. Guys, Alex made her driver pull over to take a piss over there. That was nice? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> right now, we are in one of the capitals of the Mayan world, El Cayo District. We are on our way to get a taxi up to Cajal Pech, which is a famous Mayan ruin. So, let's go. We very quickly realized just how many ruins there are in this area. I mean, there are over 60,000 Mayan structures in Guatemala alone. Imagine how many more could be in Belize. Soon enough, we were walking into our first Mayan ruin. Here we are one of four people in this whole entirety of this Mayan site. Here we are in one of the main Pakatak game courts. Pakatak was the game they played in El Dorado and they played with a super heavy ball that could cause fatalities. And I've just come to learn that the penalties of losing Pakatak Think about a, a nine pound ball coming at your ribs as hard as someone can throw it. Wouldn't want to be me. I'm gonna go try and find some, uh, some good local food. We are, uh, in the local neighborhood of San Ignacio right now. So we spoke to some locals, went to Cajal Patch in the Cayo district. And now we're back at the hotel, safe and shepherd. Good morning, everybody. Check out the sleepy egg. Today, our mission is to cross the border from Belize into Guatemala by foot, catch a minibus on the other side to take us into one of the most remote places in Guatemala, Tikal National Park. Let's, uh, let's get on the road. All right, all, we just grabbed a taxi to the border. And we are en route to Cal. Crossing the border by foot, baby. Thank you. All right, we are gonna go find a taxi or a minibus into Tikal. We realized that we had missed our window for any of the buses going to Tikal. So a man approached us and explained to us we could hop in his car and he would take us two and a half hours into the jungle for the right price. So that's exactly what we did. There's three beds. Wow. You choose any single one. We got Fine. mosquito nets. <laughs> Literal giant ass room. We felt like falling out. So, I mean, this is like a master bedroom. We made it into the park. They're loading up trucks of people. To get through this park, there are certain options. Like so. Hey, they'll pull you around in the back of a pickup truck. So we just came through this tunnel and came into this little plaza. 
After walking for what felt like forever, we finally got our glimpse at these beautiful pyramids. And it was crazy to see them in person as I had been researching this place for weeks and weeks beforehand. We headed straight for the temple you're seeing here and we began our ascent. Yeah, we're just thinking about how we're climbing an active volcano in a couple days. And we got gassed from climbing <laughs> a 300 foot pyramid. And a lot of people think that Tikal is really just this main plaza, but it just goes on for miles in through the jungle and temples and houses. And I mean, literally 100,000 people lived here. I just stumbled upon a whole excavation site. I mean, they are discovering new pieces of Tikal it seems like every single day, this is just a massive temple. It just goes to show how new and untalked about this place is. I'm gonna try to stay quiet, cause you can hear that. Howler monkeys are all around us right now. Almost a little bit eerie. We're so close. Oh, they're right here, guys. Oh. We climbed one of the temples to get a better look at the monkeys. And it's actually pretty cool because George Lucas shot a scene for the Star Wars movies right where we're standing. The howler monkeys you could only see from afar, but we did manage to get ourselves pretty close up to a group of spider monkeys. So enjoy some of this awesome footage. It's some of my favorite I've ever gotten. Light quickly became dark, and Alex and I were some of the last few people on the entire site. We wrapped up in Takao, making the most of the rest of our time there, and we leave here with a new understanding on this great region of the world. From the immense amount of hostility I felt amongst this trip, to the amazing food, to the beautiful wildlife, there are multiple factors that make this one of my favorite places in the entire world. These stories require a little bit more research than the rest, so if you'd consider tossing the video a like, that would be appreciated greatly. I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Goodbye. I love you.